welcome to the MBS Show, episode 317. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Amy. Hello, everyone. Hey, Amy, how are you doing? Uh, I just came back from Macau. Ah, so there are stories there too, right? Yeah, a lot of things happened there in the past six days. Can't wait, can't wait. Like, I think you haven't been on since two weeks, was it? Or was it a week? It was a week. Ah. So, yeah, we, we get to hear stories from Macau and interesting stuff, like... I do know this interesting stuff, so yeah, you get to hear that <laughs> later on. Alright. So let's head on into the news. So in the first news we have today is Bandai Namco releasing full sets of My Little Pony movie plush and also other pony plush. So yes, um, if you guys have no idea who Bandai Namco is, they're the guys that did the video games like Pac-Man and Taken and... What was it that they do? They do some of the arcade games, the one that I, I like to play. They used to have at Subway Pyramid, which is Gundam. Uh, you really enter inside the capsule like that. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Bandai, I think I Bandai takes control of that one. Like, there was a merger between the two. So Bandai Namco. Yeah. It was a merger at least for the arcade version. No, I think it's the for the whole company, like uh, ah, the yeah, yeah, gaming that's division. True. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But still, um... This is a bit strange for people who got no idea why Bandai Namco is releasing pony toys because they're Trust a... Trust me, i wondering also. Okay. So anyway, um, <laughs> they're a video game company, right? Like, why do plush and stuff? So I did a bit of research on this one. And the reason is oh, that wow. they're doing this because of their arcade crane games. Those gacha I... machines. I knew it! Mm-hmm. So, the thing is, um, over here in Malaysia, we don't really see this this off. Okay, it's a lie. It's a total lie. We do see those arcade crane games here, but they're not from any game companies How like Sega or Bandai Namco. It is it, it is say they are knockoff China stuff. The crane game, yes. yeah, game machine, yes. The crane game? Yeah. Everything, yes. Everything. Yeah. Yeah, they have Mew there. It's a knockoff Mew, obviously. Oh, yeah, true. But still, it's yeah. one of those things where, oh my god, that plush is so good and stuff like, you know, this... Yeah, I, I, I agree. The quality, I mean, I, I've always been complaining in the past few uh, years that Hasbro will be releasing quite a lousy looking plushy, but this one, I definitely will buy. What, for <laughs> the ponies or the Mew you're talking about? Pony, pony, for ah, this, yeah. the one we're talking right now. Oh, right, right, the right. detail is, is, is really good, in my opinion. Yeah, it's good. Like, uh, honestly, I think I've seen this one before at some trade show. I'm not 100%. This could be the Nichi or something. But no, uh, this one is something released by Bandai Namco. So mm-hmm. probably it's theirs. So what we have here is two splits. Like, we got the movie toys and we got the standard ponies. So for standard ponies, you got all the main six. And then for the movies, you got Sea Pony, Twilight Sea Pony, Rainbow Dash, Gruber, Tempest, and also, eh, who's that cat person? Oh my god, why, he always do this to me. Every time you suddenly ask, I forgot. For hey, I should remember too, that cat person is quite popular. I, not only popular, I mean, as a girl. <laughs> oh, you know where I'm going. Well, you know where I'm going now. He's such a smooth fella. <laughs> So smooth. <laughs> Let me double check. I oh. I hope I can find it. Like I know the audience at home is saying the name right now, but Oh Kepper, Kepper, Kepper. Yeah, Kepper. Kepper. Yeah, Kepper, Kepper. 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 Yes. Yeah, remember. <laughs> Alright, so Kepper, the <laughs> feline. So yes, uh they're releasing those. So this yeah. is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be really interesting. Um it's screen games, so you have to peter your expectations or get ready to shield out a lot of the cash because Usually, king game, crane games are equivalent to gambling. So, yeah. Gambling plus cheating, if you ask me. <laughs> um, yeah, cheating. Yeah, yeah. In a sense, that's how they make money. Because, you know, what? you can do 100 times trying, only the 100 times you're going to get it. Oh, yeah. That's because uh, they set a system in there where after exactly. X amount of time, the X amount is going to have a hard grab. A hard grab or the claw become loosened, depend. Whichever they want to yep. program it. Yep, yep. But hey, um, it works for Japan, but Japan has this thing, I don't know, I mean, like they have the pachinko machines and you, you how do I put this? Pachinko, you don't really win prizes. You, sorry, you don't win money, you win prizes. 
yeah, you collect all the balls from the reward and then you accumulate it in the machine. They count it for you and then they, you know what kind of price you want to get. Yeah, and then you go to the next store and sell those things you just redeem. As, Exactly, they always put it side by side. It was hilarious. I know. You see, it's like it's a good uh, record. Like it's a really good record. <laughs> it's not gambling. <laughs> I I didn't I didn't uh, win money. I I just sell stuff. <laughs> uh, but still, um, I, sorry. No, because I mean, like Panchiko is quite a big thing in Japan. That some of the game companies, because we already talking about Nanko Bandai mm-hmm. right now, like. Like Konami is quite notorious now, needs to catch up with the oh. market. So imagine, Silent Hill become Pachinko and no, I no, like, I just, yeah, true. But I you want? Know, I don't know how to react already. That no, time. you want to know what the most painful part is to all of the Pachinko games? Like uh, way yeah. back when there was a mm-hmm. Garo Densetsu game. Uh, for those who got no idea what that is, that is Fatal Fury from SNK. It has yeah. custom animation. It was really good and whatnot. And it turned out to be Pachinko. So it's like... Uh... Same goes to Castlevania. Oh, oh my yeah. god. And the reason why is Pachinko kind of works. Like, it's popular. Yeah. Uh, you know what? In Japan, at least. Yeah. I'm not going to say I, anything. Remember the Maka Remember what the Maka trip? Remind me. Yeah? I'm going to talk about okay, Konami. Okay, okay. Konami is there. Yeah, right, okay, okay. I'll remind you when we get to that part. So anyway... um. Pony, Crane Games, go win if you want to go. I mean, there's arcades that probably, wait, uh, Chuck E. Cheese for you Americans, Dave and Busters also probably, and other than any theme parks that are available there. So good luck, have fun, go get stuff. So anyway, um, let's move on to the next news and talking about pony movies. Um, it seems that Cinema Mark is bringing the My Little Pony movie back for the summer. So yay! Yeah, but it's only in the US. Oh right? yeah, yeah, Cinema Mark. It's only in the States. <laughs> it's worth talking about it because well, the we better t- let them know because yeah. I'm pretty sure some listener did not know what Cinema Mark is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, Cinema Mark is a movie. Uh, no, it's not a movie company, but it's a cinema theater Mo- company movie place. Theater, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for us here, we have TGV, Golden Screen, and MBO. For you guys, have uh, for you guys in the States, you mm. have Cinema Mark. And then, um, what is that good one? I'm forgetting the... I, I think they get the point already. Yeah, kind of. I'm trying to remember that one place that is really good, but it's slipping my mind right now because uh, I forgot. But anyway... It's always like that. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things. Yeah, true. Uh, anywho, um, Cinema Mark is going to be showing ponies again. Um, listing are in the show notes. Go check it out. And from what I'm reading here... Each viewing costs only a dollar or five of ten different movies. So hey, uh, movies are going to be in the theaters again. So if you're interested in watching ponies on the big screen, uh, here's your chance to do it. So yay. Yeah. Uh, what I'm trying to be, ah, you know what? I forgot. Maybe if I go check it again, you know what? I'm going to ask Silver for the name of the movie company. But anyway, so movies, theaters, ponies, go check it out if you can. And last item on the news is a bit of a spoilerish, not really. I know it's spoilers as we can read it in a Costa Daily. So let's go for yeah, it. Yeah, kind of, but um, it's one of those things. So anyway, um, in a recent licensing expo in Las Vegas, um, it seems that Hasbro was over there talking about their products and whatnot, and it seems Ponies was one of them. And here's the breakdown of what was said, quote unquote, what was said. So mm-hmm. the so we're gonna have like holiday specials. So it's gonna be a 44 minute long uh, episode written mm-hmm. by MK Toon, airing on the fourth quarter of the year. Takes place after season eight. Features your usual music and stuff. So I got no idea was this. Uh, this was confirmed during the leak. A few months ago, so yay. Uh, mm-hmm. As for MK Toon, he teased constantly on it on Twitter, so yay. I, I'm, I'm not sure, like this one. This one could be ponies, I, I'm thinking. Could be, 100% sure. Could be, mm-hmm. could be. Possible, possible. Mm-hmm. So anywho, um, season 9 is quote-unquote confirmed. Uh, 26 episodes yay! in total. 
yeah. Let me chill out a bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 26 <laughs> episodes in total. Uh, Gorgons arrive from Tartarus to create trouble. So, uh, more new enemies. A special 200 episode is planned. Uh, will it be the same as the 100 episode? Who knows? Probably we'll have to wait and see. And the last item on the docket is Equestria Girls. New movie, theme park and selfie focus. 44 minutes with 50 minutes planned for Hasbro YouTube. Similar to what they did with the Forgotten Friendship series. Uh, new shorts, choose your own adventures, songs, and possibly another movie planned. So, yay. Uh, Equestria Girls are going to have whatever they have currently. And with the whole theme park thing, I... I think I've seen a bit of it in the quote-unquote leaks that happened. So I'm really excited for that one. If it's true, if not, I'm not 100% sure. We need to plan to go there. Go where? Team Park. Oh no, it's just an episode. The movie. I know. Is theme, yeah. No, I know, but I cannot help to wish the MLP Team Park really is. Oh man. Like if you want to... You know what? Let's go to Universal <laughs> Japan and go to the Mario Team Park. That'd be fine too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no problem with that. Yeah, yeah. And we can go to Akihabara, buy some stuff, you know. <laughs> you you know that's the reason why I haven't go there. I mean, I think I have enough money to go there, but I have not enough money to shop. <laughs> you don't go there, just watch, right? In all that's honesty... Blasphemy. That, that's a blasphemy if you do that. <laughs> in all honesty, I don't think I'm that interested in anime anymore. Uh, I'm still... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, my, my taste in... Content has changed, like right now. If okay, way back when, if you were to ask me if I were to go to Japan, I say yes, I'll go buy cards and whatnot over there. But now, I don't know, like, what do I want? I mean, then I'm good for you, you can go already. I know it's a bad idea for me to go right now, it's a terrible idea for me to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, since it's Japan, you can buy all the Dolphy stuff. <laughs> Oh, oh, the meals, or the salmon, oh, the yeah, sakura. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I mean, I go, I already broke a uh, jalan-jalan Japan because of that, and now you're expecting me to go to Japan. Why not, right? Why not, right? <laughs> but anywho, <laughs> that's the news for this week. So, let's head into the next topic. And next topic is what have you been doing with our week? So, Amy, you had an interesting week. Do share. Oh, yeah. I mean... Uh, my company, we went to Macau. Not everyone go, half of us. Uh, the thing is, uh, they have this thing called G2E Asia. It's like the game expo, but okay, it's called game expo, but it's actually casino. Mm-hmm. All the slot machine, the bakara, everything. And this year, my company, we finally opened a booth. We are doing the exhibition as well. Okay. And what are you guys doing? Well, we introduced, I'm quite proud because 90% of the artworks, the game, they showed it is my work. Nice. So, so we have a slot machine. We, we, okay, 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 we have a slot machine. Then we have games in mobile, in tablet, everything. And, okay, the, the slot machine, we have a quite interesting story because a lot of companies went there, they either ran the slot, the machine, the machine, the physical machine itself. Mm-hmm. They either ran for the purpose of exhibition or their own few because uh, they do exhibition more often like Konami but mm-hmm. we have our own machine and I found out that day we built the machine from scratch. Ooh. I feel like it was something quite new because I know people build PC but this is the first time I heard that you actually can I mean you yourself build the machine rather than go to the factory like that. Oh, okay. So I remember I, I, do, I do remember they bring all the parts in the office and try to uh, you know, to make it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and unfortunately, I mean, this is our first time experience, so the machine kind of look Asian. So I said we need to do some adjustment in the future to make it look better. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Anyhow, that is on our part, but we are quite proud because we managed to get few dealership like that. But anyway, the thing is, like you know, in Malaysia, we are not casino culture, right? Mm-hmm. So going there is my first experience entering casino. Okay, because but the, the thing is, uh, Macau have few islands. Mm-hmm. The way I'm staying now, where you can say the heart of the casino, I stay at this hotel and there are five casino. I mean, surrounded five. No, I don't think five. That is little. One, two, three, six, seven casinos. Ooh, okay. I'm not even. I'm not even joking about that. 
It's like they have five to six buildings there, at least the main building. That interestingly, it will be hotel, shopping mall, and the casino at the bottom. Wow. So the the other uh, place I stay, yeah, hotel. Uh-huh. Go down, it's a shopping mall. Then you go one section, it's a whole big casino. And I couldn't take photo because uh, one of the rules once you enter in the casino, no videos, no photos. Okay, so but you still can have your phone, right? Oh, you are not even allowed to do that. There, there's a, every corner. There will be the security guard to make sure you don't do any, you don't record anything. Yeah, but it's still like you want to well, uh, message people and get calls. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that one you are allowed. Even that, the moment you take out your phone, they look at you like they're so ready to jump on you. Yeah. Oh, I'm not even joking. All right. Uh, and okay, and then the expo itself. Yeah, I can not. I notice few things because it's a mixture of European and Asian people. There, I mean, they open their booth. I noticed one thing. The Westerners, they are very professional. I mean, they are all the guys wearing suits. And they, they do not give, they don't have only this gimmicky stuff. They don't, they don't have sexy girls or show girls. There's, there's no music, anything. They, they don't even have any, what you call, brochure to give away. They're just waiting somebody serious. Come, try the game. They have like, like the Baccarat, the slot machine. And then if you like, they will sit down and talk. So their book can look quite solemn. And they are some of them quite serious. They even put no photography. It's an expo, but no photography allowed. And there's even a security guard. Like if you take out your phone or your camera, they say, no, 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 you cannot take photo. Okay. Uh, but, the, but the Asian one, oh my God, they are very lively. I mean, they have all these girls, sexy show girls <laughs> wearing all this dress and they even have girls, you know, like giving you all the bags, give you all the brochure, give you all the free game. I get, I got few USB, few power banks, <laughs> wow. few speakers, a pillow, a memory pillow, a Chinese cup set. <laughs> what? They give away everything and they're doing a show every now and then they even do like a quiz like you answering question. Most of them speak in Chinese because we are in Macau but they are Few books speak in English, but I still cannot answer because they ask all this programming stuff, which I'm not a programmer, I'm, I'm an artist, so so I cannot answer. And they even have a pole dancing show. What the hell? I'm not joking. I because unlike those, uh, unlike those Westerners, this Asian, you can take video anything you want. So I have all the videos. <laughs> I just haven't uploaded yet. Oh wow! So, all right. They do it. They hire a professional dancer. Okay, they hire a professional dancer for dance, and they hire a professional pole dancers. All right, oh, all right, and all right. I feel like this is my first time seeing a pole dancer. You have a sexy DJ go DJing around, and they even have a celebrity there. Unfortunately, I'm I don't know some of them, but they had Jackie Chung that day. I missed him because I was needed at the booth that time. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. So, and we even won a concert ticket, but unfortunately, none of us can go. <laughs> Because we are too busy at that time. So, okay, you, you were mentioning something about Konami. What about Konami then? Oh, Konami open booth. Oh, yeah. uh, from what I understand, from what I understand, uh, for, according to my boss, that usually Konami, Sega and Sony open for the casino. But this year, I only see Konami. So, uh, I thought, I really thought when I saw Konami, I said, oh, I'm, Maybe they're going to put the Bachinko, a uh, Bachinko, but that's sorry, Pachinko. Uh-huh. Bachinko is our product, by the way. <laughs> Pachinko, Pachinko. And I say, no, it's all slot machines. So I'm still looking forward. I was like, ah, they might do all this, you know, famous character like Silent Hill, uh-huh, slot uh-huh. machine, or anything. Because, because some of the Western companies, they are licensed, so they can do Avengers. Uh-huh. They did Avengers, they did Monopoly, and they're officially licensed. So I was looking forward for the Konami slot machine to be uh, all the characters we, we know uh-huh. from them. And I was quite frustrated that they're just a generic slot machine. There's no any known game characters. Oh, that's strange. I, I would have thought that they yeah. would use something like Metal Gear or Castlevania. Yeah, it's totally zero. Huh. I, so I was a bit very frustrated that they just another slot machine. Uh, but I had to give one credit, like, at least their graphics is nice. <laughs> But right. no, it's just a generic, just like uh, the dragon team, the lotus team, the fa 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 means the the rich guy team. I like, mm. yeah, just another generic slot machine. Maybe it's something. Maybe better graphic. <laughs> maybe it's something for them to, you know, um, how about this? It's their generic items. So this is how the game looks like. Now you can program your own graphics later on. Is that better? 
that is possibility, but doesn't make sense because the idea of the expo is to show what you really have to entice, uh, to entice, uh, to make some dealership, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Konami is quite strict, also you cannot take video photos. Oh, uh. they really have a, they have a guards all around corner to make sure you don't do that. And what oh, what I suspect one thing because one thing I noticed when I was at Macau. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, the, the differences between the art style and the bonus game, as you call it, mm-hmm. uh, between the slot machine, between the Westerners and the Asian is very, di- I mean, it's very different, you know. And the way I see that Konami, maybe, maybe, I just suspect, purposely do this generic uh, Chinese team because they know that will attract the locals. Probably, yeah. Because the... Ah, because the locals more attracted to this Chinese team, very old style color, but they're not that attracted to the new one. The the new design, like you know, you make it more creative, like teddy bears uh, <laughs> yeah, or yeah, yeah. a thief. A thief or, you you got my point. Something different, not Chinese team, is usually attracted younger people and younger and usually not from China. So I I just want to think nicely. Maybe that's their just their strategy in Macau. Probably, I, I don't know. I mean, it's one of those things where I really can't say much because this is one of those topics where I don't have enough experience to um, give any say in it. It's one of those things where if it were a full-fledged console game, probably I can give you my two cents. But since this yeah. is a casino game or a game for the um, casinos, it's one of those things where yeah. it don't make sense. For me, personally. It was, it was quite something interesting because I've been in, in this industry for three years mm-hmm. and uh, I remember I used to have some frustration when I'm doing some of the projects because I feel like I can do a different type of art direction. I can do something new, but uh, my boss actually likes my idea, but he had to say, oh, we, but we have to remember who's our client. If our client is from China and we have to stick what they already used to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I totally and, agree with that. I mean, and, I totally agree with that. And it, in that part is, it is, it's like you're seeing the same thing recycle over and over. And, uh, and okay, interesting thing, when I was in the casino, mm-hmm. I, majority of people there are old people. Oh, yeah, there's a thing with casinos. Like, even here in Genting Highland, um, Genting Highland is our quote-unquote casino zone uh, is a theme park is an attraction let's just say it's like uh, Las Pegasus yeah, yeah yeah like Las Pegasus yeah, it's a good example it's not really like Vegas because you don't have the red light district and whatnot and if I do understand right that's also illegal in some spots in Vegas like I think the strip you can't do that uh, that's what I'm thinking but you know what uh, that's a different story for a different case but no um Genting is like your theme park attraction, expensive food, expensive hotels, and just have fun. Um, what was I saying again? Oh, yes, they also have a casino there, but it's limited mm. to non-Muslims because uh, yeah. in the Sharia law, uh, Muslim can't gamble, but some do. But you don't. We just don't ask. We just don't ask. So yes. Yeah, that's true. So okay, that basically about the expo. Then I want to tell you. The buildings there, at least the island I'm staying, like I said, the middle casino is very interesting because the hotel I'm staying is basically the style, it's it called the Sands mm-hmm. and Kotai Central. So it, the style is like you are in desert. When you enter the building, the ceiling, it looks like a desert sands, you know, with all the, some of the plants and everything. And then I'm going, because there's a bridge connected. Mm-hmm to the place where I'm doing the expo. That one is called the Vanetian. Okay. And guess what? What? Inside, inside really look like Venice. Venice? Really? Yes. And the, f- and the ceiling, they make it so good that you look like, if I take the photos without saying anything, people thought, I'm in outdoor. Wow. They even have, they even have the candle that you can actually take the ride with the gondola. But I have no time to do that, unfortunately. And the 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 one that uh what they call it navigate the gondola they really hired a westerner who can really sing like sing like the opera everything. Wow, that that is interesting. That's really interesting and cool. And and then you take the bridge, you go to the other side, you will reach to the Parisian. Okay. You guessed it. It's Paris. Oh, okay. Okay. And and Paris. Okay, Paris is less crowded. The Parisian, but the best part about when you walk in the Parisian on daylight, performers every corner. 
Huh. There's a mime, there's a guy who playing the music, there's a magician doing a, uh, you know, street magician like that, uh-huh. and then you go to other side, there's a guy on the stick. Uh, um, walking stick? You know? uh-huh. yeah. A walking stick. And then every 30 minutes, from morning to late evening, you, there's always a performance. Huh. And uh, yes. That sounds like Vegas. I, I, I believe so. I would not be surprised because we are in the central casino, and then behind my hotel, they call they call this called the Wind Palace, W Y N N. You they have a cable car. You can take the ride for free. Yeah, and I and inside the sorry. Yeah, you you saw my you saw my statement <laughs> already. And and then and, <laughs> and it's a long story, guys. And and then uh inside the theme is like a fairy tale. You have a big Cinderella shoe. You have a dancing monkeys. It's a prop, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so. Each of these buildings have their own team. It's very interesting, actually. I I took thousands of photos. I'm not even exaggerating. It's thousands of photos. Nice. I even take some videos because I feel like photos cannot really tell the whole story. So I take videos of me touring inside the building. <laughs> I think you saw one of my videos that I got lost in Vanity and yeah, Vanity is quite confusing. Right. I, I got lost three times. Okay, <laughs> that's also great. Okay, um, there's one thing I need yeah. to ask because it, you posted a picture posting in a group, and It's toys. Like you went there, you bought a lot of toys. Like the thing, <laughs> oh, be a lot. <laughs> the, the thing I noticed is the Sailor Moon toys, not including ponies. Oh. Ponies is something else, but the Sailor Moon toys. Like, okay, describe to me the toy scene over in Macau. How is it? Oh, okay, okay. Because uh, we have two nights. We actually go to the Ida Island. Because I just said, because the island we are staying is basically the casino. Mm-hmm. Everything there is super expensive. Everything is double or triple on the price. Oh, standard. So, so then we have a free time, so we take a bus. We took a bus, a free shuttle from Wind Palace to the other side of the. So we pass by the Macau Tower. Uh huh. And and there the stuff there cheaper. Okay, one thing I can say about Macau, um, the other things that it seems exclusive in Malaysia is something common there. Uh, okay, I'll start it like this, like Rilakkuma. Uh, uh, Rila Kuma, you can go to few toy shop and they sell at the corner just like in Malaysia how they're selling Barbie dolls. Okay, but and I'm gone crazy. I'm gone crazy. And then Sailor Moon. Okay, Macau is totally obsessed with Sailor Moon. You can find Sanrio and Sailor Moon stuff in Seven Eleven. Is it some of my stuff I bought there? I got it from Seven Eleven. Yes, and the price is fifty ringgit or less. Is it something to do with a promotion item of the month or something like that? From the way I see, no, it's just a common item. Because I even thought one few of the locals asking about that, and they just said no, it's just something normal for them. Really, no. Huh. Okay. Yeah, and I, and I bought and I bought a lot, as you mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. is because I do want some other stuff. I've been following the eBay and few places, and they're selling double the price I got at Macau. Huh. Okay. Ah, uh, Macau. One thing about Macau, right? Uh, certain things that mostly have licensing, like. Like Hasbro, mm-hmm. Hasbro, and all this Sanrio, uh, they're a lot cheaper in Macau. Really? Way no. way, che- not way way cheaper lah, but at least it's cheaper and it's easily accessible. I mean, hmm. uh, I have to restrain myself to choose what India, what should I buy for Sanrio? If I buy everything, I, I'm gonna get trouble with my credit card later on. <laughs> oh, makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> so, what about ponies? Like, I saw you. Oh, okay, I'm I'm gonna guess the pony selection there is going to be, um, your standard affair of, uh, what you might call this, whatever we have here. Is it true or is there something else? It, yeah, it's true actually. It's, there's nothing special, but uh, there will be few uh, stuff that we didn't see in Malaysia. They have, but the amount and how they sell it is yeah, it's the same what we have here. Okay, did you spot a Fluttershy uh, Equestria Mini, mm-hmm. the one that I want? Sorry. So the Shai Equestrian Girl Mini, Which one? the first edition, the first one before. Ah uh, no, they already have the beach season. Oh man! The, one that, uh, the the only minis I found there is the beach ones, mm. and you are lucky because I know you want that sunset shimmer, and they only left one. Because after you asked me, Charles actually asked he want the same thing. I said <laughs> sorry, Norman got it first. I've asked, and he said lucky guy. I've asked it beforehand. Like, wait, didn't didn't it? Few months back. Yeah, you asked me few months did, back. Wait, 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 didn't it arrive here in Malaysia? Like, there's a bunch of it beforehand. Like, why was Charles? I never, no, no, I never see any of the beach edition in Malaysia so far. 
That's why I bought my toilet sparkle as well oh. alongside your sunset. Really no, that that is true. I thought yeah. I saw some. I think Zen posted some. Maybe you should ask him. No, I did. I did. Right? No, he he went to Japan. Did he bought it at Japan? No, 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 no. Um, when he posted the picture of the um uh-huh. My Little Pony Equestrial Mini stuff, that was here in Malaysia. Uh, when he recently went to Japan, I did ask if you get the chance to go to any of the uh, toy stores in Japan, could you check out one of the My Little Pony, like the sunset, like that specific one that I asked for. Um, if you can yeah, yeah. get it, please go get it for me and stuff. Like It's not a must, but if you do spot it, please go get it for me, please. So on those situations. But uh I thought I saw some way back when in the group. You know what? It's one of those things where... It is strange because over here in Malaysia, I, I recent, uh, I'm not going to cut your story off, but I'll continue where you left off later on. Uh, sorry, continue on. Hmm. Where were I, by the way? <laughs> oh yeah, the Sailor Moon stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all I can, I can, all I can see is they're really obsessed. It's like Sailor Moon almost all around the corner. And they are after convert. It's only around twenty ringgit. Okay, I know some of you might say twenty ringgit is expensive. You should see how much they're selling online. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, it's really double because I I bought few before, and I the luckiest I can get is at thirty seven ringgit, and there I only got at twenty twenty one twenty two around there only. So I bought quite a number, on number of them. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see any Mew though. <laughs> oh. I saw a lot of Pikachu used that. Oh, do you know Ninja Boys? Uh, Ninja Boys. Are you talking about that old Japanese cartoon with the nin- Ninja Marantoro? Dressed in Nintamarantoro. blue yes, and then yes. the girls are in pink and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, correct, I remember correct. them. Yeah. I'm a, my brother and I is a big fan of them. We still watch even today, uh-huh. the Malay dubbing. <laughs> and, and one of the shopping mall I went, there in the in the Mako Island is they have this shop like you can say that or they have all this what you call it like, something like thrift shop mm-hmm. but they're not selling cheap they're selling quite expensive all the special item and I saw a set of th- a set of three the three boys plushy official from Japan oh wow and and I was like mother so I I actually wanted to buy it until she told me is is uh. I think almost 1,000 Hong Kong dollar, which is equivalent almost at my 500 ring, our 500 ringgit, Ooh. I think. So I was like, dear Lord, never mind. I'll pass for this time. <laughs> oh, I really <laughs> want it, but 500, uh, I think it's okay. Yeah, that's a bit too much. But still, but still. Uh, well, not only too much. It's one of my last days. I'm already broke. If I'm not broke, maybe I'll grab <laughs> yeah. it. Uh, I, I understand <laughs> that feeling. I understand that feeling. That, that reminds me of my story when I was at, uh, where was I when I did this? I think I had two occasions. One was at Buck in the UK and one was at huh? uh, ECG Singapore where I met Andy Price. Um, this, oh, the, the, oh, the, is the, that yeah, one? The scenario is the same because went there, saw a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of stuff. I so much want, I don't have money. Crap. <laughs> Especially with Andy Price. Like, I wish I had money so I can buy uh, one of the original arts for his sketch for the comics. Like, that would have been so awesome to have an original. Uh, what to do? Get more work, get more paid. <laughs> yeah. So, anywho, um, is that all? Because if not, I can continue with my story. And with my week. Uh, that's fine. No, I mean, okay, I might tell a short story, but it's not the same being there. So, I think I have nothing else to say. I don't know how to express it already. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> so, anywho, um, your week sounds awesome. And... I wish I could have gone or I wish I could been there and stuff because that sounds really awesome. Yeah, the, the, I mean, I really enjoy the architecture. That it's, very, it's a very new experience and I have to even tweet to say, guys, I'm serious, I'm in Macau. <laughs> because all the pictures, they would say, are you sure you're in Macau? You, you're like, you are in, you know, in Paris, in Venice. I mean, <laughs> they, they even have a, mi- they even have a miniature Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Take a but I didn't, go, I didn't go up. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, but I, did, I didn't went out because, uh, we, as I said, we are quite busy. Oh wow! All right, all right, all right. I mean, I I have to remind people, I'm not going there for holiday. I'm going there for work. Yeah, I just say happy, have fun, have, I mean, have fun and get a good trip. <laughs> so you know, it's one of those. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, my week, my my week has been pretty boring. Like it's nothing fancy like yours, but it's <laughs> it's still fun. Um, what, what? Let's see what did I do. 
uh, this week specifically, I did nothing other than play Overwatch for the uh, you know the standard thing I do every week. Uh, get on, play Overwatch, play a few games, have fun. Uh, new map Rialto, if I remember right, that one's live. Not really, I I forgot, but still, a new map is there. Play, have fun. Um, what I can say that happened recently um is that I updated my laptop to you know Windows updates. You know, I just click okay, uh, update Windows. Somehow that update kind of let me guess, hang. Not really hang, but destroyed. Not really destroyed. It broke. It broke it. I couldn't log into what? Windows. So, um, turn on PC. It goes to the menu where, oh, fix Windows, uh, reinstall Windows, blah, 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 blah. And I couldn't get it to work. And mind you, this laptop of mine is an older model. I think it's the ROG, uh, 750JX. Uh, it's a gaming laptop, big 17 inch. Um, I yeah, was I happy with it, but I'm kind of disappointed now buying it because it's a 17 inch heavy beast of a machine. So I'm not happy with it. <laughs> so I wish I've gotten something smaller, like a 15 inch light PC, but that's past me's problem. Uh, so whatever. I'm, I'm learning to live with it now. So anywho, machine does not work. So what do I do? I try to fix it. I try to do stuff with it. And in the end, I had to reformat the OS space <gasps> and reinstall Windows. What about all the other things you have inside there? Here's the lucky part. I don't use oh, this laptop okay. that much. <sighs> but here's the other thing. Good for you. Here's the other thing. Oh, okay. All of my things that I hold quote unquote important, like my pictures, videos, song, which are not made to uh, oh, begin no, no, with, no. are in the D drive. It doesn't really affect my OS drive. Mm. So I reformatted the OS drive, reinstalled Windows there, and it works like normal. Yeah, that's the reason. That's the reason. Also, all my pictures, everything not in the C drive or S itself. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, the thing. That's C the thing because you don't now nowadays like not really nowadays. Like it happened way back when too. Because you, when you install Windows or when you install PC, you don't save all your pictures, music, documentations on your C drive. No, that's a big no-no. You save it on the D drive, and if it's possible, you yes. don't save it on the same hard disk as your OS drive, you save it on another drive. Exactly, that's what I'm doing yeah. now. And th- this is more technological bamboo jumbo talk because it's one of those things where I don't understand what you're talking about. This is just strange. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's for your future. Listen, guys. I think they're, I think they, most of us know, I think most of us know because you can always buy an external hard disk and put it over there. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what I'm doing now. Ah, so. I, 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 for, for me, I, the reason now I have, hold on, ah, mm-hmm. one, two, three, okay, three, <laughs> three internal hard drive. Uh, because I, I built my own PC and actually my PC can see inside. So that's why I'm counting again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to make a four. I, I just have, have a very bad experience with external hard drive. Eh? It, it, uh, it makes sense because you carry them around like that. Oh, no, it, outside, it depends. So. It depends on, um, okay, it's true what you're saying is true because you carry around, it's hitting, it's shaking, and so it kind mm. of breaks. So the main point... And then the spinning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's also true. Yes. Yeah, uh, also. My, my way of thinking is you have this hard disk for data. Like for me personally, I have two hard disks, uh, two one tera hard disks. One is for show and one is for my data pictures and whatever it is I, I do, music and whatnot. And... Every time for for the podcast itself, every week I'll plug it in and I'll transfer all of the raw files, the edited things mm-hmm. onto set MBS show hard disk. And that and there is where everything lives from the raw tracks to the finished work and stuff. So if I do need to go back and do something with it, I have easy access to it. And it doesn't clog up my machine because one file can go around one or two gigs. So you could just imagine having 10 of those files will 
cost me 10 gigs worth of data on the hard disk. And since hard disk space is limited, I have to really pay attention and keep things orderly. If not, I then, you know, it's going to be a big headache. And as for yeah. the intro, and as for the other one where the pictures, songs, movies and whatnot, those are stored in another hard disk where I sometimes feel like if I need to do something with this, I'll plug it in and do work on it. And then I'll plug it away and put it on site and don't really disturb it and don't bring it around because most of these hard disks are there to be stored away from the PC until needed and don't move around because, um, how do I put this? So if you guys don't know, um, a physical hard disk mm-hmm. has a spinning disk inside. It's a spinning magnetic disk where yeah. the needle kind of reads the data. Just imagine a vinyl where you play music on, but instead of the needle going on the groove on the disc, this one has a magnetic thing where it reads on a high speed and tries to read data on it. And if you shake it a lot, the needle on the spindle, whatever it is, is going to scratch the disc on the hard drive and it's going to cause a lot of problems. And... And and also the faster it spin, yeah, the the things want to be. I mean, the 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 things want to be work faster, but it's also the fastest to die. Mm-hmm. So everything's fast. Yeah, and, and that's why we have a solid state drive, which are stupid expensive, mind you, but they don't have any. <laughs> yeah. But they don't have any spinning drive and whatnot. <laughs> they have a um, hard memory. Uh, just imagine a thumb drive where there's no spinning disk. It's expensive, but it works fast. It it's better, it's faster, but the memory capacity is slow. Um, like, you only have half a tera, and that's not worth it. Like, you can buy one tera, but that's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Mm. Um, or, 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 as the BJD group always joke, sell your organ, donate your organ, sell your kidney. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you remember that one? Right? Yeah, yeah, you remember that. No, no, that, that's not only for, that's not only for your, uh, Dolphy group. This is for almost everything. Uh, from your <laughs> card games, from your PC games, from your PC building oh. things. Like, if there's something, it's there. Uh, but yeah, um, where was I again? Yes, I had to reinstall Windows on my laptop and yeah, it was not a, f- okay, it was an <laughs> interesting experience. That's all I have to say. It was interesting where, okay, I have to do this, I have to do that. Hey, this is not that bad. Like, this is kind of easy. Wow. Um, that is very interesting and fascinating. Wow. Um, other than that, let's see. Uh, did I do anything else other than try to fix my PC? Um, nah, I don't think I've done anything that warrants me to have a proper story. I didn't watch any movie. Um, if you're wondering what movie I'm supposed to watch or interested in watching, uh, that's the Star Wars Han Solo movie. Uh, somehow I knew you were gonna say that. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, I know I remember I something. I, 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 I have an idea. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh, I, I think I mentioned this last week, but I watched Deadpool 2. Yeah, that that was on last week's show where I mentioned that. Yeah, have you? I haven't watched. You it. haven't. Yeah. Oh man, you should. Deadpool two is an experience where you need to watch. I'll think about it. I'm still not that interested. Really? Yet. You're not interested? Why? Because I watched Deadpool one and I I I know my boyfriend like it, but it's still not my cup of tea. Oh really? Um, any reason why? Is it too violent? The story's too dumb for you, or? What is it? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to explain because I think the film is excellent. It's just not my cup of tea. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. All right. All right. Well, uh, mm. It's understandable. I mean, um, some movies are there. You know, you know, some movies have their interest and whatnot. And Deadpool 2 is not yours. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Understandable. Uh, other than okay. that, what else? Um, this is the second week of Ramadan, was it? Yeah, it is. And uh, my first day, speaking of that, yeah, my first day or Ram- my first and second day of Ramadan is when I'm still at Macau. Oh, how was it, man? Like, did you uh, fast or did you just skip it? Oh, I fast. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So, uh, yeah. how's the time there? Like, does the sunset goes faster or is it the same? 
fasting started around 4:30 a.m. and you or break your fast at 7 p.m. Okay. Yeah, that's. Uh, and because around uh, my first day, I make a mistake because uh, I woke up at five thirty. You know, like Malaysian time mm-hmm. to drink, and I not even look outside. Five thirty already bright at seven oh, p seven a.m. here. Wow. Okay. And I then I was like, oh my god, I didn't drink, and I did not even saw. Oh, that, but I managed to pass. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, still, it is. <laughs> oh wow, that that is an experience. Oh. Yep. But still, at least you manage it. You manage it. I I I remember um, what I think two years ago while I was in Australia at the tail end of Ramadan, I mm-hmm. fast in Australia. And here's the fun thing, Australia. I, I, du- I think I know this story. I, I think you yeah. told me this story. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Go Australia ahead. <laughs> during that time, uh, the sun rises early over there. And the sun sets really early over there too. So it's like, <laughs> what, you're fasting for four hours in, in actuality? You lucky, you lucky guy. Yeah, kind of, not really. Plus, like, uh, plus the weather there was cold. So I um, was like, hmm, this is not that bad. <laughs> hey, El Sun, that's nice. Oh yeah, you remind me when I was in Pakistan as well. Yeah. yeah. So um I think that's my that's about my week like it's pretty interesting kind of um, no no real big change I think so so anywho uh let's head into okay I don't usually have this topic that much because nobody really sends the emails to the mbs show at gmail dot com but oh that's so sad yeah, but somehow this week I got an email it's an oh! The, the hold your horses is not that big of a deal <laughs> because here's uh-huh. the thing. Uh, I got this email by a guy named Wenbin Fang. Um, okay. Fang here. He is from a, a website called Listen. Uh, what was it? Listen Notes? Yeah, listennotes.com. And what listennote.com is a search directory for podcasts. Okay. I know this sounds a bit strange for me to talk about it, but hey, uh, I'm just going to read the email. Hey there, my name is Win, uh, Wen Bin Fang. I built a podcast search engine, Listen Note, which is like Google, but for podcasts. It's free to use. Mm-hmm. I'm not asking you to buy anything here, smiley face. I just want to introduce you to this tool I built, which may bring you new listeners and help you better prepare your show by the way i found your email in the rss feed of your podcast the mbs show your show is already listed on listen note listeners use listen note to discover long tail content example podcast they never heard of so your show may get some new listeners via listen note yes it's like discovering interesting new websites when you search on google as a podcaster, you don't need to do anything additionally. Wow, that's okay. I think that's additionally things beyond producing good content and having informative show notes. Many podcasters told me that they also use listen notes regularly to one find past interviews of their prospective guests, example, Elon Musk, mm-hmm. two. Learn from other podcasters. It's like good writers who read a lot of people's book. Three, find cross-promotion opportunities on other podcasts by searching similar podcasts and reaching out to those podcasters. Example, startup, hint emails. Okay. Note, it's a free tool. We make money through ads and providing developer APIs. You don't have to sign up. You don't need to make a commitment. Just like using Google, go to the website and search. That's it. Please let me know if you find Listen Note useful or if you have any suggestions slash future requests. Smiley face. Webin, founder of Listen Note Incorporated. So, um, Webin, if you're listening to this, thank you for putting the show there. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I- I don't know what to say, man. Like, thank you. If you're listening to this, 
Great job. Um, do also try and put the MBS show review and discussion podcast there because from what I understand, a lot of people do like that show because, hey, it has Civil Quill and Civil Quill is quite popular with the ladies. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. Kantoi. What? What? You say that guy. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Silver Quill? Yeah. Why? He's part of the show too. I know. And you say popular among girls. <laughs> I'm, I'm not denying it. <laughs> <laughs> I think he would. <laughs> uh, but say, um, Amy, what do you have to say about this email? Like, uh, Would you be using Listen Note for your future podcast endeavor? Yeah, if I'm doing podcast, yeah, why not? Well, would you use it to search for podcasts? Because I've tried it. And you know what? I'm just going to link you to the page itself so you can, you know, um, take a look-see at it. Uh, where's this? Sure. Uh, here we are. Okay, paste and press enter. Okay. Um, and I tried using this before. And hey, it's one of those things where if you have a topic in mind, um, okay, for example, for me, I'm going to search Brony stuff, B-R-O-N-Y, click enter, and it lists down all the Brony podcasts available on the iTunes and Stitcher Radio. If it wants to load up, please do load up fast because I hate slow internet. Um, let me check. I'm checking one podcast if they have it. Oh, the internet is quite slow. I know. Okay, here we go. It's really slow. Okay. Oh my god, they have the podcast I'm looking for. <laughs> so, um, I'm taking a look, see. And yeah, they do have a few podcasts listed for bronies. And I'm checking here, the MBS show is one of them. Yeah. I was not sponsored by them. I was not um, paid by them in any shape or form. They just did it without my knowledge. I'm just telling you guys at home that, hey, this is a cool website that you can use for free to check out new podcasts. It's a, as they say, a Google for podcasts. And you know what? I'm just going to talk about other shows because I see the Bronyville podcast listed on there. And the Bronyville podcast is one of the legends of Brony podcasting. They, uh, how do I put this? They quote unquote inspire the show in some shape or form. And then they also have Radio Brony, uh, Hebrew the Ponies, uh, the Brony Quest podcast. You know, there's a lot of okay. shows over here. Um, I think they also had, uh, the 411 Brony Podcast? I think so. Oh, this is cool. Uh, they also had the pass to see PonyCon light from Dana Anthony or St. Pinky, our partner in crime. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Oh, yeah. The uh, Pony411 Podcast. They're also a mm-hmm. long time, what you call this, um, Brony Podcasters. I think uh, we're almost tight in terms for how long we have been running. So, yay. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Um, I don't know how to cut this, but it's going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you asked me. I said, oh. Yeah, yeah. So, it, oh, it's going to be one of those <laughs> invisible cuts where, not really invisible, it's going to be those awkward cuts where, hey, what were they talking about? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I, you have to go to Patreon to find yeah, out. Only for a dollar. And talking about the Patreons. Oh no, not really. That's too fast. But anyway, um, that's <laughs> the email topic of the week. Thank you so much. We, we've been for posting the podcast on your website. Thank you so much. And let's head on to the, well, the end. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Amy, where can the good people find you? I will be around all social media. I'll be at Twitter. I'll be at Facebook. Uh, just find me. I'm, or even Instagram. Just find me. Ely Carey Doll. Alrighty then. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes. YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to keep up to date. And search your radio and also like our Facebook page. Please, we need the support. You can also catch us on ponyvlive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the MBSU Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll get me, Silver Quills, have a heart song talking about the pony episodes, comics, and movies. 
and sometimes we like to talk about other things. For example, America's Ladybug. Amy, you know what the show is about? Oh yes, I do. It's a it's a one of the French anime anime three D animated animation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is true. That is true. It's one of those um, French animation that somehow became really popular, and it's kind of gone garnered a following. And one of our patrons by the name of myself, Leg, sponsored us to do a quote unquote review of the episodes and i have to say i have been enjoying doing those reviews because silver quill and sapphire heart song how do i put this kindly they were insane yep they cracked <laughs> under the pressure of reviewing ladybug because of how tight cat noir's outfit is yep yep <laughs> uh there's the cupid episode uh, it was fun I I read it too, so... Oh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, be sure to catch that one episode there because, uh, for Christmas of last year, we reviewed the Christmas episode. That was fun. <laughs> um, and for Valentine's of this year, we did the Valentine's episode. And who knows? Probably in the future, we'll do something with something. I don't know. Um, it should be fun. That's why I know. Since we already talked the, the series, I have to say mm-hmm. this. I have to let out from my mm-hmm. chest. AJ <laughs> <laughs> I have to let it out. <laughs> uh, have you been keeping up with the newer episodes? Oh, oh yeah. Man, like that one episode where... Um, you know what? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We, we're not gonna... Well, we should have we talked yeah, about it. We already did the wrong podcast yeah, yeah, if we yeah, talk yeah. about but it. But still, uh, <laughs> you know what? Maybe if we do another Ladybug episode, I'm going to invite you in because at least we can have this balance of two people liking it and two people not so much. <laughs> oh my God, this is going to go crazy. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So anywho, um, uh, let's see. You can also invite me if you guys are going to talk about Star vs. The Force of Evil. That is something to consider. You know what? Um, yeah, um, yeah. So anywho, um, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted contents, and a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lurka Cat, Starstream, myself, like Amy, Mark, <laughs> Charles. Lucky Knight and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys, for the awesome support. You have been really, really kind to me. So, anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'm Amy. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya. Bye-bye.